we're going to talk today about exporting your room mode scan from Polycam into the Spline app and rearranging your furniture, adding other scans from Polycam, doing something a little nutty like replacing your furniture with small scale clay models that you have also scanned with Polycam. And then after that, we're going to export it all back into the Polycam app to share with your friends and family and impress your mom. Oh, wow. Or you can add it to a Webflow web page. You can put it back in Unity. Lots of different options, right? <laughs> so first thing we're gonna do is open the Polycam app and go over and create a room mode scan. Hello to my doggy, Georgie. I gave Polycam a challenge here, but look how it's getting the contours of the room like that wall slant. This is definitely architecturally a little bit of an oddball space here with the beams but it is gonna get that little piece of the wall. And my fireplace. Did not get my homemade Thelma and Louise painting, but that is all right. That'll probably be in the next updated version of the app. Hey again, Jordy. Coffee table, bing, bing, bing. I love this because it reminds me so much of Tron. I'm gonna skip forward a little bit quickly because you get the idea, but the attention to detail here is just wild. And if we press our upload button here on the top center, we'll be able to open it into our web viewer. You will notice when I go to export, I have infinite options because I am a pro user. So this is your sign to go pro. I'm going pro! Oh! But it is not necessary. You can export the free version on a GLTF file. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I go to spline.com. On spline.com, I'm gonna log in. Oh, I'm already logged in. Margaret at Polycom. I am that girl, that girl is me. Okay, so import file. I'm gonna import a 3D model, the one that I downloaded from Polycam. So we loaded our model into Spline and look how wonderfully that is matching our Polycam export. One of the first things I'm gonna do is just expand this file here and rename my objects so I kind of know what I'm looking at. When you upload this room mode model, it creates these individual assets for your furniture in the room. I can rename all of these things so that they're actually accurate to what they represent. So that when I see couch, I know obviously that's couch. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Looks like that's my bookshelf. So I'm gonna go bookshelf R as in right. And I'll just hover through all of these things. So that looks like my, I'm just gonna say couch one because it's not really a left or a right here. And it got some additional um, elements here that I'll probably wanna delete just to simplify the model because um, it got this wall from my other room. And I mean, I could just go like that, boom. But actually I almost like having it there. So we will keep her for now. Oh, nor. Okay, what's unlabeled? Many things, this is couch two. Chouch, <laughs> this, this is couch two. <laughs> I can now recolor all of these objects. So these gorgeous bookshelves, I can actually make them orange. So eventually I will end up with a full recreation of my space in a little small little 3D model. Go ahead and change that. Same thing with my couches that are in lovely little off-white, which is why I do not allow my doggy to sit on them. And then these chairs are actually like a leather, a dark leather blue or dark blue leather. So let's, yeah, yeah, bang, bang, bang. So we'll go ahead and like, oh my God, I did not mean to move. Oh, murder on the dance floor. It's murder on the dance floor. I did not mean, mean to move the floor there, <laughs> but it's kind of cool that I can. And that's Polycam. Uh, um, now we'll just keep going here and we're gonna da -da -do 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 change all the colors. I will go ahead and make my bookshelves the burnt orange that they are IRL. So I use the material generator on Polycam to create a hardwood floor surface. So I just search for har hardwood <laughs> floor. <laughs> it's gonna generate four options for me and I'll just pick the one that I think is the closest to the one in my room. That's gonna be the third in this case. So I'll just download that. And now back in Spline, I can apply that image to my floor. I'm just going to upload the albedo of it. Looks actually strikingly similar to my floor. So we are, we are getting close here. 
And then from there, I can move my couch. I can rearrange. I can view my space. Um, okay, I'll see you later. I can view my space in multiple different formats. It just kind of to configure if it works and uh, without actually sweating and, and moving the couches. So we can move a table. We could move a couch. We could rotate the couch before we move the couch. Be a perfectionist about it. How about no rules? How about we move the small table to the center and then put the bench on the other side because this is a fun house. And then the dining table, and we'll arrange the chairs in a bowling pin lineup because there are no bad ideas. Now that we've worked through the rearrangement, the recoloring and the labeling of our room, <laughs> we are gonna redesign it completely. <laughs> what you're about to watch is a nightmare. <laughs> What you're about to watch is a nightmare. On the Explore page on Polycam, you'll see that folks have submitted thousands of scans um, of things that you can download and put into your model. I thought it would be fun to make little clay models and scan those into the room and replace the actual furniture with the clay models. So I made these little teal couches out of Crayola model magic. That sort of set the theme for the room. Um, I'm going to head back over to the material generator and make a print for a rug. So I'm thinking that I am just going to put in, yeah, like Austin Powers rug or something. And now back in spline, I'm just going to add a square here to the floor, plane. And I'm going to add the image of my beautiful, calming, serene very chill, would love to have it in my room, rug. And there you go. Okay, so now that that's in and it looks amazing, we can keep messing around. So at this point I can just create an ideal room for myself. And so for me that would include some art by my friends. Same thing I did with the rug, I'm just gonna layer that image onto a square that I'm creating on the wall plane. Do another one here for Dylan's. And upload that gorgeous painting. Reorient it a little bit. Let's also go ahead and hide all of these objects. We're not deleting them, we just wanna get a sense of what the room looks like without them. And then I'm just gonna recenter them. Looking better. You can also do that to the rug, the horrible rug. And I'll label my artists as well. I can also extrude the paintings so that they actually have some dimensionality to them. So I'll probably go ahead and just give it like a two on extrusion and bevel and, and bevel the size, because why not? I like the numbers being even. Now my 2D images now have some three dimensionality. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I'm done here. I would say that there's plenty of opportunity for additional redesign. <laughs> and just to clean up the model a little bit, I might want to adjust my material settings, add some lighting and shadows, same thing with the rug, bring back those shelves, maybe paint the walls, a little blue and green, a little bit of creative freedom here, make them green, why not? And I'm gonna adjust the overhead lighting as well, view my model in play mode. If I'm already doing that, it makes sense to become a sphere and add game controls and explore the room as a sphere. And this is just scratching the surface of the things that you can do when you upload your polycam model into Spline. And here it is, uploaded back into Polycam in all of its beautiful glory.